Hey everybody, I'm headed into a Goodwill. The one that I like to go to on Thursdays. Usually I have lunch with my friend and then I go to this particular Goodwill and we're gonna see what they have today. And I'm taking you with me. shoes first see if there's anything new from last week these are nice pra practically brand new five dollars we're gonna take those a lot of payless brands these are pretty good too take those Maybe they came from the same person. I don't know. What about these boots? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, I hope we don't get in trouble with that music. <laughs> they always put this weird music on. These are very nice heels. I try not to get anything too wild, something that it's kind of basic that I think will resell. We'll look at the other side. Let's, let's do that now. Look at the other side. They have them arranged by color today. I don't see anything here. original what does that say oh dear farms yeah no they're not worth that much okay let's grab our cart look at the men's shoes oh it's coming out of a little boom box the music Anything good in there? No, huh? I'm seeing. <laughs> and again, I'm looking for some black boots, so. Purple boots. Oh my God, are these adorable? I'm gonna see what brand these are. These are really nice. Zippers. Got European sizing on them. Well, they're five bucks. We'll try them. What else? What else? I'm not seeing any men's shoes that I'm particularly moved by. These look brand new. Cole's kits. Hmm. Ooh, cowboy boots. They're really worn though, aren't they? Belay. So pre-owned for those boots, I can get about forty dollars, even though they're not in great, great condition. These are nice too. Wow. What is the brand? Target. Oh, but they're nice shoes. Look at that. I feel like they're practically brand new. We're gonna get those as well. Let's keep fishing here. Um, yeah, grandpa slippers. 
Oh, there's the other slipper. Those are nice sketchers. Oh, here we go. Cushion walk by Avon. Avon sells shoes. I didn't know they sell shoes. What size are they? Size 10, I think. I think they're size 10. Oh, look at the little cowboy boots. Somebody really wore those. I don't know, grandpa slippers are kind of cute. <laughs> I like these. I wish these were in my size. I would wear them. They're not my size. Okay. Alright, what are these down here? GBX. child in trouble. <laughs> Help. Okay, that's enough. That is enough. All right, I don't see anything else on the rack. Nope. Lots of shoes. I'm gonna have to find a place to put all these shoes. That is a nice office chair for $10. No, it's gonna hold me. <laughs> it's nice though. It's on wheels. Beethoven music collection. Oh my goodness. They're albums. Hmm. What's this guy? Look at him. He's interesting. This is personalized for Cindy. Let's see what else they got today. All these baskets for Easter, puzzles. Any plushies today? Let's see. Oh my goodness, she's cute. She needs to be cleaned up a little. Who makes her? She's a Sesame Street character, I think. Yeah, she's Sesame Street. Oh my gosh. Isn't she cute? How much do they want for it? $1.99. Alright, maybe I can wash her. Clean her up. Clean her up. Nothing else. Nothing in here, I don't think. It's a cute little guy. It's a T.Y. bear for October. Oh, look at the nose. Okay, we're gonna get that. Yeah, 99 cents. I know I'm a sucker for this stuff. Christmas areas heating up. What else? Well, this is interesting. This plate. I think this is hand painted. Wow. I'm afraid to ship stuff like that and get broken. My little pie maker. What is that? Okay, it's silicone. 
cone, makes little pies. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, let's see what they got. What is this? What is this? Low back truck. I don't know what it is. Let's see what they got over here for Christmas. See if any of it's new. Hallmark. 25th anniversary together. 1979. It's pretty personalized, I would think. Pretty personal. Oh, that's a wine opener. That's cool. There's another Hallmark. How House Limited Edition. Historic Wire House and Windmill. W. W. Hayes Village Historic Parks, 2007. Custom Christmas Series. Hmm. It's glass. I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's grab it. Let's see what we can make of it. I don't see anything else. This has been here for weeks. Oh, here. I'll be home for Christmas. Collector's puzzle. Is it brand new? We shall find out. Oh, you know what? It has Christmas cards in it. Oh, look, are they used? Look at that. You want some Christmas cards to someone? Oh, a whole box of Christmas cards. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I want a dollar ninety-nine for that. Sold. That's a gar that's a bargain. A clay art bumbles, hand painted. That's Interesting. 1999. What else we got in here? Any stainless steel? And a ruler. Whoa. That's quite the instrument. Coleman barbecue set. You know what? Let's see what we can get for that. What else? Oh, you don't see what I'm looking at up here. This. So always look inside the tens and see what they're selling inside of them. You never know what you're going to come up with. Drink hot chocolate. Wall art. That's pretty. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, he's cute. For Thanksgiving. Those wreaths. Oh my word, aren't they pretty? We could make those, right? Right. Look at all this stuff here. Two ninety nine. I can 
get it open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. It's all pens and markers and tons of stuff. This dish was here last week. I like it. Okay, there's a little corning weird dish, $2.99. There's another one. I like this one. It's a cute dish for Christmas. Seventy-four days until retirement. That's funny. Cute little snowman. This is pretty here. Blue willow. Only it's not real blue willow. Or it would be marked. shoes foam mania if we want to make foam microwave ovens toaster oven what the heck is this what is that rotisserie chicken oh my gosh well okay that's interesting. Hmm. There's lamps up there. There's a little tripod up there. What do they want for that? It's cheap. Cheapo. Lots of 
Swifter dusters. Oh my gosh, look at this little Easter house. Isn't that adorbs? This is to hold your Easter eggs. This is pretty. Oh, there's some more. There's one there. Maybe somebody had a whole little village. There's another one there. There's the inn. And the fruit shop. These are, these are really sweet. Four dollars each. And they light up. Now, I kind of like this one. <laughs> That's adorable. I'm going to get that one. I, I like it. in the world. This is like little gnome stuff. Look. Here's a, here's a little chicken. Look at this. We got a ways to go before Easter though, don't we? <laughs> That's an old Kmart plate. I don't even have Kmart anymore. More of the Cottontail Colleges, Cottages. Maybe that's what those are. These are the figurines, how oh, cute. Okay, larger stuff. Any Tupperware? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not seeing any. What the heck do you do with that? Microwave serving ware. Hmm. Portion pods. Oh, you can put them in the freezer. Oh, how cool is that? What's in here? Just plastic wood. Cheese grater. More glass. in Indonesia. Ninety-nine cents each. <sighs> this is a pretty bowl. Look at that. Ovenware. It's not branded, but it sure is pretty. Look at the little teacups that go with this. Oh my gosh, look. Is that the sweetest? Oh my goodness, what do we got here? Backpacks. This is kind of nice. Luggage. Six ninety-nine. Pretty clean. I think we're gonna get that. Lunch bag. Coca Cola glasses right there. Right there. All right, 
this is where I go look at the clothes. Hey everybody, it's Rebecca from The Leftovers. Thanks for watching to the end. This is, uh, as you can see, I picked up a lot of shoes. Yes, and Abby Kadabby. I learned her name. It's Abby Kadabby. Um, she goes for around anywhere from 15 to $25. If I want to lowball her, you know, <laughs> that sounds really creepy, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> maybe 13 yeah. So I got to clean her up a little bit. Um, yeah, but her shoes, it looks like she's been running in them. Then I this ornament, I thought, D should I really have bought this thing? Then I started looking on eBay and this company, the How House Limited Editions Company, custom Christmas series made in the USA. They have these for like almost every historic site across the country. So there's got to be a collector out there who just goes from one, you know, collects all these different sites. Now, I don't know where this uh, wire house, I thought maybe I mispronounced it in the video and it says wine. It does not. It says historic wire, W-I-R-E house and windmill. W.H. Hayes Village Historic Park, 2007. I have no idea where this is at, but it's another historic site. So we'll see if anybody wants that. I paid 99 cents. They're going for about $10 on eBay, if I can sell it. Then the TY, yes. I'm going to start. I My plan is to put together a TY auction. I've got a bunch. I'm going to put them in lots of like 10 and I'm going to have a live auction. When I get to a thousand subscribers and get monetized, I'm going to have a live auction. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then, oh gosh, the Christmas cards. We'll look at those in a minute. Let me show you the shoes. Then we can put them back in the bag, right? All right. The purple, these purple ones. I never... Look how cute they are. They're like socks uh, inside. You know, it's like wearing a sock, but pretty warm. But no, they're not. Li okay, so it is fur lined. The sock is just the the upper the upper edge. Now this could be Payless for all I know. I have no idea. And no, I don't have anything against Payless. Love Payless, but not a huge resale value on a Payless shoe. So, to my knowledge, these are unbranded. Uh, I'm going to have fun trying to figure out the size. Um, a European 41, so that, that that's easy to convert. I, I'll figure that out. It's not my shoe size, <laughs> for sure. Okay, then, are these adorable for work? Somebody that has to... Um, go to court every day or something like that. That's where I would wear them. Life Stride Soft System. Five dollars I paid for them. Yeah. So I'll probably list those for 15 or 20. We'll see. Then you heard me mention this in the video and I did not show you the barbecue set. Look how huge it is. Oh my god. This is put out by Coleman. Um, the, t the tongs, like, I guess this is for the hot dogs, you know? Wow. You need man hands for these man hands. And the burger flipper. Um, nice set, right? Yeah. Okay. Back to the shoes. <laughs> these are the cowboy boots that I had to look up because they're pretty worn. But, you know, it's leather. So I'm going to kind of clean it up, get some leather cleaner clean them up. I looked up this brand and this is a really good brand. They sell for resale, pre-owned for about 40 bucks. Um, I paid $6.99. You know, the actual heel on them is pretty, pretty good shape. Maybe they just did line dancing in them. I don't know. <laughs> These were the ones I said were Target, Target, but almost practically brand new. I don't know what size they are. Eight and a half. Okay. Tage. Also not my size. I'm sure you guys are going, well, what the heck is your size? Not going to tell you. <laughs> How cute are these? These are Clarks. The, Euro the European company. 
they make. They're so nice. Arch support, cushion. Oh, these are soft cushion. Ultimate Comfort Collection by Clarks. And they are size... Well, it doesn't say. Yes, it does. Eight and a half. Must, this must have been the same lady, I think. She just went barefoot, I guess. Then these, these are good for the winter. Look how nice they are. They're a little ugly. Uh, yes, I agree. They're ugly. But um, size 40, another European size shoe. Probably it's branded on the back. It says BNQ. I kind of want to look that up. BNQ. Hold, please. Coming up, barbecue. Let me take a picture and see if the picture comes up. Sometimes uh, the brand won't come up, but the picture will bring something up. Um, hmm. S stuff that's similar. These are um, like a, a version of Uggs. So I could call them Uggs because they're ugly. Yeah, they're ugly. <laughs> but I'm not seeing B and Q. But pretty popular. I'm just going to throw them up there and see what happens. Maybe this is a European brand. If you guys have heard of this brand, UGG. This definitely says B and Q, not UGG. No. So, and it looks like it's never been worn. Well, these certainly look like Ugg boots. They really do. They've got the exact same shape and and like they. The only difference is they don't have zippers. They have this Velcro closure. But these don't look like anybody has ever worn them. Again, not my size. <laughs> Plus, I can't be that ugly. I'm sorry. You know, I've got standards. So. Look how cute are these. Oh my god. I don't know what size they are for they're for a little man or a little girl. Little um, you know, snow suit snow boots with zippers. I'm trying to see who makes them and what's the size. Um well it is made in China. Well, <laughs> that's helpful. The Trimfoot Company, LLC. The Trimfoot Company. Aren't they adorable? Now, I'm going to have to figure out sizing on these. Size 10 for a little child. These are, again, these are natural soul, all through comfort. All through, all, all through comfort, yeah. Practically brand new. No one wore them. I like these. I like those a lot. And these are Life Stride wedge heels, you know, for the courtroom. Why not? Okay, let's put these aside and let's look. Now, I was very surprised. I thought this was a puzzle. I'm thinking, oh, what buy a puzzle? And I did not tell them what was inside here. They probably think they're selling a puzzle for $1.99. But instead, we have these super cute Christmas cards. And not ugly Christmas cards. Really, really cute ones. Look at this one with the castle on it. Oh, my God. And here's one, oh, my gosh, with Santa Claus. Now, I don't want to show you them all because I might you might get one for Christmas. Thinking of you all this time of year and wishing you a Merry Christmas. Oh, my God. Look at the one with the penguins. And they just go on and on. And, oh, my gosh. So cute. Um, Yeah. I know. Nobody sends Christmas cards anymore. But look. Snoopy, Peanut, the Peanut Gang, Hallmark Collection. These are Hallmark cards, guys. Oh, ones with the snow globe, ones with a baby in the manger. Then there's these um, Christmas tags you can put on gifts. Somebody just had like a whole collection of this stuff. More Hallmark 
Snoopy cards. I'm hope I'm hoping I'm gonna run into envelopes here. Look oh look. Snoopy. Oh I love these. What's this? Oh look, more stickers to put on the Christmas gifts. Now we're getting to the envelopes. Okay, more cards. Oh, look at the envelope that goes with the Snoopy cards. Isn't that adorable? Oh, somebody might get a Snoopy card from me. Okay. I'm not going to resell these. I'll just use these, of course. Um, but for $1.99, you can't beat that. Plus, I got 10% off because I have a, a discount card with Goodwill. I think this is a cute little find, don't you? All right. So that was the reselling sourcing for this past week. I uh, have one more place that I went to today that I will try to bring you over the next couple of days. And that was to a church rummage sale. <laughs> New for me. So Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.